Now that we've done some basic examples of select query, we can move on to perform calculations with your data. Calculations can be done in queries, reports, and forms, but not in tables. Let's take a look at the other table in our database. The table contains data, quantity, and unit price. We could make a query to calculate the total cost. This query will display these fields plus an additional calculated field which multiplies the two together. No calculations are stored, saving space in the database, but the results are instantly accessible by running the query, which calculates them as they are needed. When you perform a calculation, you create and name a new field that contains the calculation you need. To begin, open a new query and design view and specify whatever criteria you need, if any. Then, name the field. In the field row of a new column, type the name of your new field, followed by a colon. For example, new field. Enter the calculation. Type the name or names of the field to be calculated by the appropriate mathematical operators. For example, you wanted to multiply two fields together. Field 1 multiplied by field 2. Here's an example. Calculating the different fields. Total cost. Quantity multiplied by unit price. In this example, the query creates a new field called total cost and displays in it the value in the quantity field multiplied by the value in the unit price field. Calculating with fields and constants. Discount price. Unit price multiplied by 0 0.9. In this example, the query creates a new field called discount price and displays in it the value in the unit price field multiplied by 0.9. Note, this is the same as multiplying by 90% or subtracting 10%, but the query does not recognize the percentage symbol, and we have to devise an alternative expression. Formatting the new field. When you are performing calculations, you may wish to see the results formatted in a particular way. Currency, for example. Normally, field formatting is specified in the design of a table, but as the field is being created by the query, there is another way. In the Query's Design view, right-click anywhere in the New Fields column and choose Properties. This opens the Field Properties dialog box. Click the Format box and then click the down arrow to display a choice of formats. Choose from the list in this example. Currency is selected. Finally, click X to close the dialog box. When you run the query, your new field will appear, containing the calculated values and formatted as you specified. Things to remember when using calculated fields. In new field definition, what goes to the left of the colon becomes the new field's name and what goes to the right becomes the calculation. Remember to follow the usual rules for naming fields no illegal characters, and choose a name that does not already exist amongst these in the table or tables being calculated. Make sure you spell the names of the calculated fields correctly, a good reason for keeping field names short. And remember to enclose field names in square brackets. Calculations are simple and straightforward. You just substitute field names for numbers. If you use a calculation in a make table query, the new table will include a new field containing the new calculated data. Let's review. Calculating in access queries. Calculations can be done in queries, reports, and forms, but not in tables. When you perform a calculation, you create and name a new field that contains the calculation you need. To begin, Open a new query and design view and specify whatever criteria you need, if any. Then, name the field. In the field row of a new column, type the name of your new field, followed by a colon. For example, new field. Enter the calculation. Type the name or names of the field to be calculated by the 
appropriate mathematical operators. For example, you wanted to multiply two fields together. Field 1 multiplied by field 2. When you are performing calculations, you may wish to see the results formatted in a particular way. Currency, for example. Normally, field formatting is specified in the design of a table. But as the field is being created by the query, there is another way. Things to remember when using calculated fields. In new field definition, what goes to the left of the colon becomes the new field's name and what goes to the right becomes the calculation. Remember to follow the usual rules for naming fields, no illegal characters, and choose a name that does not already exist amongst these in the table or tables being calculated. Make sure you spell the names of the calculated fields correctly, a good reason for keeping field names short. And remember to enclose field names in square brackets. Calculations are simple and straightforward. You just substitute field names for numbers. If you use a calculation in a make table query, the new table will include a new field containing the new calculated data.